guys and welcome to part one uh, lesson maths lesson for year five from white rose um, please make sure that you look at the part two video where I have uh, uploaded the activity sheets so let's have a look at the lesson for year five and about decimals up to two decimal places let's remind ourselves of our place value Place value grid on the screen, the first column represents ones. The next column along is the first decimal place, and that represents tenths. The next column along is the second decimal place, and that represents hundredths. Let's look at an example of a number with two decimal places. We can count the counters in each column of our place value grid. There are no ones in our place value grid, so we'll use zero as a placeholder. There are one, two, three, four tenths in our place value grid. There are one, two, three, four, five, six hundredths in our place value grid. Let's use a stem sentence to help us describe this number. There are no ones, four tenths, and six hundredths. The number is 0 0.46. Let's look at another example. Now in the place value grid, we have one, two, three ones. There are no tenths in our place value grid, so we'll use zero as a placeholder. And there are one, two, three, four, five hundredths. Let's use a stem sentence again. There are three ones, no tenths, and five hundredths. The number is 3.05. Pause the video here and have a go at questions one to four. Eva has partitioned 0 0.91. She says, that 0 0.91 is equal to 0 0.9 add 0 0.01. 9 tenths add 1 hundredth. Eva's way is the most obvious way, but is it the only way? Consider Amir's method. Amir has partitioned the number saying 0 0.91 is equal to 0 0.5 at 0 0.41. There are lots of different ways that we could partition 0 0.91 and you're going to look at how you can partition numbers in the next few questions. Pause the video here and have a go at questions 5 and 6. Let's look at our next example. Ron is thinking of a number. He says, my number has three digits. It is less than five, but greater than three. It has six hundredths. What number could Ron be thinking of? If it is a three digit number, but less than five, we know it must have hundredths. And Ron said, it has six hundredths. It could have three ones and no tenths. 3.06 is greater than three, but less than five. So we could have three or four in the ones column. And in the tenths column, we could have any number of tenths from zero all the way to nine. Why can't you put a 5 in the 1's column? If we put a 5 in the 1's column, there would be 5 1's and 6 hundredths. And this number is greater than 5, so we can't put 5 in the 1's column. Pause the video here and have a go at the rest of the questions.
Okay, so thank you so much for watching my video.